Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i am going to show you how to make animation for your assemblies in solidworks composer we will talk how to perform uh, some basic operations in uh, assemblies by using solidworks composer so keep watching this video till end before going further let me clear one thing that i had changed the name of my youtube channel because I am about to start uh, making vlogs uh, related to um, technology in which I will capture and describe the working of uh, different industry and uh, different machines. So you guys don't have to be worried about SOLIDWORKS tutorials because just like before I will keep uploading SOLIDWORKS tutorials to my uh, YouTube channel. But in addition to that I will also make technology related vlogs. So I hope you will also enjoy and learn from those blogs. Okay, let's start. First of all, open SOLIDWORKS Composer. So you will find uh, three uh, icons related to SOLIDWORKS Composer. So open SOLIDWORKS Composer 2016 by 64 edition. Now first of all, import the file or your assembly in the Composer. So for that, click on file here and then select open. Then double click on the assembly or part for which you want to make animation it will take a um, few moments to open so wait, wait for a while so here we had opened um, the assembly in the composer if you can see these uh, black lines uh, so these are the boundaries of the screen on which we uh, are going to make animation if you press and hold control key and then zoom out by uh, rotating mouse wheel and see then if you um, um, rotate mouse wheel without pressing control key then this part or this assembly will be zoomed in zoomed in or out right click and drag will rotate your assembly and press and drag mouse wheel will pan the assembly so first of all let me show you how do we uh, render this model for that click on render tab here and these are the properties for rendering so if you turn on per pixel for lightning turn on shadow and see what happens if you turn on this option and see what happens you also uh, turn on glow and see then we have uh, shadow properties with respect to ground uh, it is turned on and see, uh, see if i turn on shadow mirror and grid so second um, question is that how to start animation in solidworks composer so for that first of all you have to set the proper view of your model let's say i am setting this view then go to home tab here and then activate animation mode here is the timeline these are the properties and this is the view tab in case if you lost all these tabs to reactivate them you can click on windows here window tab here and then and then check these boxes to reactivate them okay now let's start proper uh, animation so as we had selected this view for our model then go to views tab here and select or create new view drag this view to the beginning of timeline and make sure that auto keys are turned on and drag the seek bar up to uh, 1.5 or uh, 1.5 seconds and uh, then press this button set camera keys so first of all let me show you how to rotate your model in animation for that drag the seek bar to your desired time so let's say 3 seconds and then from here drag the part 
and set camera keys so now we are able to rotate our part or uh, our assembly in animation next question how do we uh, zoom in or zoom out our model in animation so for that again if you want to, uh, this model to be on the same position for, uh, up to 4 seconds drag the seek bar up to 4 seconds and then press uh, this button set camera keys so nothing uh, will happen during uh, this time then again drag the seek bar up to 5.5 seconds and zoom in or zoom out then set camera keys and see so after zoom in and zoom out uh, question we have another question how do we drag uh, the part away from the assembly so for that again drag seek bar up to 6.5 seconds and then set camera keys then create a new view drag it to the seek bar and uh, again drag seek bar up to 8 second then select this part so in the solidworks composer all the parts are known as characters so select the uh, desired part for which you want to make uh, drag after that here in uh, transform tab select translate now select or click and drag this arrow and then set camera keys unselect this part by uh, clicking somewhere else on the screen so this part is now dragged away from the assembly again drag seek bar up to 9.5 second and then rotate model and zoom out set camera keys and then create new view drag this view to the seek bar and again drag uh, the seek bar up to 10.5 second and then set camera key next question is that how do we uh, rotate our parts in um, assembly so for that so first of all drag the seek bar up to your uh, desired time so let's say 12.5 seconds and uh, then select the character and then from here select rotate now you can see the axis of uh, rotation is this for this part and uh, I want to add uh, or uh, edit the axis uh, somewhere here on this point for that click on set pi uh, pivot and then select online axis and then select this origin then rotate the part and uh, then unselect this part also select this part and uh, then select online axis and select this origin then rotate this part then unselect this part and now you if you drag seek bar and see next question is that how do we hide some parts in animation so for that create new view and drag it to the timeline then again drag seek bar up to 13.5 uh, second and then set camera key again drag seek bar up to 15 second and then rotate and 
zoom in to the part for which you want to hide it then set camera keys and select the part and exit from rotate mode then in uh, in the left side here you can see opacity so set the opacity to 255 then drag seek bar up to your desired time uh, so let's say 16.5 second and 10 reduce the opacity to 0 then unselect this part and now see see what happens so at 16.5 second zoom in and then set camera key now again see next question is that how do we add text in animation so for that go to author tab here and uh, here if you can see text 2d select it and then click on the screen and type the text so let's say i am uh, going to add bearing 6202 from here is um, here is the opacity for text and uh, scroll down here is the size of the text now uh, next question is that how do we link this text with uh, some part so let me show you how for that again scroll down and uh, if you can see here attach so type of attach uh, drop down this option and uh, then select the type of attachment so let's say um, if i uh, select line and then drag this uh, somewhere here on the pairing yes now drag the text here now uh, unselect the text and see text is appearing on 16.5 second now here again um, uh, create a new view and drag it to the timeline and once again drag seek bar up to uh, 17.5 second and then add camera key again drag seek bar up to 19 second and then zoom out again set camera key then uh, if um, you want to select the bearing go to assembly and from uh, here you can select bearing so unselect it we are going to select this bearing then in the transform select translate and then drag it upward then unselect the bearing now if uh, you drag seek bar and see what happens so this this link is also traveling with the bearing so at this position again uh, create new view and drag it to the uh, timeline then at 20 second set camera key and again i at uh, 21 second zoom out so again set camera key here and uh, then now i am going to uh, tell you uh, uh, one more uh, feature in uh, composer animation 
So add 21 second again create new view and drag it to the timeline. Okay, and next feature in SolidWorks Composer that I want you to know is uh, cutting planes or uh, section view. So for that, uh, let's suppose I want to make the, uh, the section view of this part. Now drag again the seek bar up to 24 seconds and uh, then go to other tab here and uh, then select this part. Now click uh, to create and uh, then if you move uh, your mouse and you can see uh, this arrow is appearing showing that uh, the cutting plane will exist on this face. So now if uh, make sure to um, that uh, this apply to selection has been uh, turned on if you turn off it then all the parts will be cutted. So turn on apply to selection and then drag the cutting plane like this. So now you can see the auto keys has been added automatically. If you drag um, the seek bar and see um, um, instantly it uh, cuts through this part. So to resolve this issue drag the seek bar up to 23 seconds and then from here enable the cut scroll down and um, this is the opacity of uh, the cutting plane so um, reduce it to zero if you increase it see what happens so at the moment reduce it to zero then again scroll down here is the depth so at 23 seconds we don't need any depth now if we drag seek bar and see what happens so at the at um, this point so if, if you can see the, this there is a, a problem like this so to, to resolve this problem select this key and uh, delete it now you can see um, how we had created cutting plane or a section view of uh, our part in animation so uh, let's finish this animation by saving it as a vi file in your hard drive so for that go to file and then select save as and from here select avi now specify the location and type the name save as type select avi and then select save now from here uh, select full frame uncompressed and press ok button so it will recalculate and then save it in your hard drive so now you can play this animation here you can see So I hope you had enjoyed and learned from this video. If you liked this video then please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Thanks for watching and sparing time.